Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Thanks so much for uh, checking out this video. It's another unboxing video. We've got another Geek Fuel box, and I'm really excited about this one. It's another Funko Soda, but it's a Roger Rabbit Funko Soda, and I'm I'm a super big fan of Roger Rabbit. So he hates these cans. <laughs> This one actually has a cool variant. It's not like a multicolored variant. Oh, it's like one of these things. Yeah, it's one okay. of those things. But it's not like it's not like a, a weird color variant. The variant itself is like Roger Rabbit with a bunch of kiss marks on him from Jessica. But these guys are like the new hotness right now because the variant is like super duper rare. So the, the new hotness. So the the this the, old and busted. Yeah, this exactly. Is the new hotness. No, no one cares about the green He Man anymore. It's okay. all it's all about the Roger it's Rabbit. It's all well so. in this family. It is kind of all about the Roger Rabbit. That's true. So I yeah. get it. Okay, sweet. And like and I said, geek the fuel. Geek Fuel. Which one? Which one do you want to go with first? The, the big box or the or the you small? know what let's do this one first okay and then we'll do this one because this one i would hate for like i would hate for you to open this one first and then you're like and hey, we got roger rabbit okay. you Fair know enough. what i mean all then, right so, so just do the small item first yeah let's do this one first and okay. then let's finish with this one and right. that way we can have a big finish do you know do you there's know? some serious expectations here geek fuel box. i know the past like, couple ones just, have been pretty cool i just realized that this this was a really cool box so yeah. i am betting that we're going to do this one first because i am hopeful this is going to be superior it's not going to disappoint me i agree with that I, I think you might be right actually we do not like to be disappointed <laughs> at all so do you remember how to open up the cans like Without, I don't without, a can of whoop ass. without, without, like, just making a mess of everything. Sure. You know what? We came in and we didn't even bring scissors or anything sharp to open things. Like, how are we gonna? <laughs> how are we supposed to do this, right? We prepared. All right. Oh, I already. All right, you got it. Up. All right, good deal. Plastic shouldn't be that hard for you, but. Well, you know. Okay, so. <laughs> you were gonna. <laughs> You're looking for the full tab, like a real soda. You remember, it's the pop. Remember? Okay, okay. But, okay. Just. That one's in there pretty tight, huh? Oh. Got it. Just as I expected. Good job. Okay, so don't look inside the can. Just pull out the black bag because there's like a pog in there that lets you know if you got the variant or not. All right. So there it is. In all of its majesty. All of its magical glory. It's a, a black bag of, of a, mystery. It's a Schrodinger's it's Roger. It's squishy. It's fluffy. Oh, is it? It's fluffy. Well, aren't they all kind of squishy? No, it's fluffy. Like, touch it. Oh, it, it's because it's covered in bubble wrap, babe. Oh. <laughs> it's covered in like a padding. I mean, I just thought it's a rabbit. Yeah, so maybe that would be, be funny fleshy. if it was like flocked, plushy flocked. Flocked. Flock. I love that word. Yeah. We don't use flocking enough. I use it a lot at Christmas time, so I'm like, where's your flocking Christmas stuff? <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, um... You I, use it in the completely wrong context. I use it in every context I can possibly fit it into. Okay. All right. All what right. do we got? All right. Well, all I see is the back of Roger. Uh-huh. It's a good thing you have a sense of humor. You're better no, off dead. dead. Right? Okay. Oh, we did not get kissy face. We Roger. did. We did get the basic Roger. Basic Roger. Basic Roger. I'm still stoked though because they have you a whole display what? cabinet this full of Roger Rabbit. This is going to be a great, a great addition to your Roger Rabbit collection. Yeah. So you should show us your Roger Rabbit collection. Okay, I'll put in a quick video Jack right has here. Jack a of... pretty cool Roger Rabbit collection, so we'll stick one in right here so that you can check it out. Okay, so when it comes to my Roger Rabbit stuff, we'll start out up top here with something that might be familiar for regular viewers, and that is a Nooligan. This is obviously a depiction of the final scene inside the warehouse where they're about to get sprayed with dip. Uh, just like with every Nooligan classic touch, he likes to put the Chuck Taylors on the characters. And this was a limited release print, and if you bought one of the first 50 ones, you got this exclusive smoke card, which is obviously of the uh, bullets that came with the giant gun that was given to Eddie Valiant by Yosemite Sam. Now up here, we have the first issues of Roger's two different comic series. 
This one is more um, more like the movie. It takes place in the real world, as you see the Maroon Cartoons studio back there. Uh, but then this one over here takes place in Toontown. Now these were both limited series. I think this one only ran for like six issues, and this one was like 19 issues. I have both series all together, but like I said, first issues. So now we move into the display cabinet. Sorry, my 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 lights, the batteries are dead now. Um, but starting out here on the first shelf, we have these guys here called Flexies. I have the whole series of these guys, but these were like rubber bendy. You could like bend their arms and like Roger's ears would bend. Got Jessica Rabbit over here. Um, this one actually has the original Toys R Us price tag of $4.99, which is not what they go for nowadays, <laughs> that's for sure. I've got my Romero Brito statues. Uh, this was a Christmas present and a birthday present, I think, uh, back in 2019 from Gretchen. Roger Rabbit, another Roger Rabbit uh, comic book. This one is in 3D, uh, sealed in the complete package. It comes with 3D glasses as well. This is a thank you card because Gretchen um, commissioned this artist, uh, 8 Bits of Me, and made this guy right here. We met this artist at either MegaCon in Orlando or Tampa Bay Comic Con, but Gretchen commissioned this piece from this artist and uh, sent along this card. Pretty awesome. So that's such a cool piece. Such a cool piece. Let's see here. Oh, if you guys watched my 40th birthday live stream, these are original movie cards from 1990. And uh, if you were watching the, the, li the live stream of my birthday, I opened up one of these 30 year old packs of cards and ate the gum that was on the inside. That was a, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Hey, look, I've got napkins. Got napkins. Nick, this doesn't taste like gum. Got napkins. <laughs> it's melting in my mouth and not turning into anything. This is disgusting. We've got some additional little PVC characters. You'll see a few of these throughout my display case. I've got little baby Herman over here, Jessica Rabbit. Roger and back here we have these first day of issue stamps that came on these uh, series of Jessica Rabbit Envelopes Jessica Rabbit and Roger Rabbit envelopes. I've got a whole stack of them here from 2012 to 2014 I think yeah 2014 It's a whole series of them here And then we've got some pins. This is from Disneyland for 4th of July 2007 that's a custom pin, I think. I don't think that's an official Disney licensed, licensed pin, maybe. Oh, it was officially licensed. It's limited to a thousand. It's hard to tell on the back there. Uh, these two coins. This is from a surprise parade that they had at Disney World for the 20th anniversary. Believe it or not, back in, I think, I guess it was 91, 1991. Surprise parade. We're about to hit the 50th anniversary of Disney World, so it's in pretty good shape for being 30 years old, you know? And then this is a Mardi Gras parade that I think was at Universal Studios. Saturday night movie, um, let's see here, I think, uh, Mardi Gras, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, New Orleans Mardi Gras, so that's pretty cool too, that's from 1990. And we've got a pressed penny from Disneyland. This is for the Roger Rabbit's uh, cartoon spin ride. And then a little belt buckle, little vintage belt buckle there. This is only the first shelf. Moving down to the second shelf now, we've got more of the toy stuff. We've got some film strips. Let's, let's, let's pick one of these random film strips and see, see if we can see if we can see what's in there. This is from the opening uh, cartoon scene that he was filming in the movie. I recognize that. And then over here, oh yeah, we've got the Maroon Cartoons logo, which looks like the uh, Looney Tunes logo, of course. And so aside from those, we have uh, an assortment here. We've got some more PVC characters. Now this is a whole different set here. This is a bunch of uh, Roger Rabbit in various scenarios standing on boxes that have phrases on them. So 
I don't, I, I don't, a lot of these were made in foreign countries. I don't remember them ever being here in America. So never, I don't even know what they pertain to or what series they belong to. It's just such a random thing. We've got a couple snow globes here. This guy I returned twice because every time it showed up, the, the, the water was tinted. But that's, I guess that's the way they all came because even on the box it came in showed clear water, but every single one I've gotten has been this weirdly tinted, just dirty water. I don't like it. Uh, we've got, that's a McDonald's toy right back there. This is a hand puppet that you would stick your fingers and thumb in the back of his head and you could make his mouth talk. It's kind of a plushy foam sort of thing, but it's hard to find these in package. So that's kind of, that's a little bit of a rare item to find it fully in the package, untampered with as well. This is a little wind-up toy. You would wind the little gear on his side and his little feet would walk. I'm sure we've all seen those toys before. But that's a little weird little, almost like egg-shaped weird Roger Rabbit. It's an odd one. Uh, just a regular pin back here. Let's see here, what else do we have? Oh, this is a box for a makeup palette that Gretchen bought, the Roger or the Jessica Rabbit palette that she actually utilizes. So <laughs> that's just a weird little thing back there. Uh, down here, we've got some more, we've got some more of the flexies. We've got this weird bootleg that I bought. <laughs> this is just, it glows in the dark actually, but uh, it's like Dutch or something like that. And it's just a weird knockoff Roger Rabbit, little bootleg Roger Rabbit. Um, over here, this is a rare guy right here. He also goes along with a different set of toys that I'll show you here shortly, but he was discontinued for choking hazards for children. So this is the Italian version because I can't really find the American version too well. So this is the foreign version, which I know is kind of a weird flex, but there it is. It's a hard to find guy right there. Uh, this is a movie book, Disney movie book, of one of Roger Rabbit's short films. Now, a lot of people don't realize that he actually had multiple short little cartoon clips that would air before movies uh, during the same time that the Roger Rabbit movie had premiered itself. They were trying to establish the fact that he was an existing cartoon character, and so they were playing little movie shorts before, like, I don't know, what movie came out in, like, 1990, 91, you know? Uh, and then this is the follow-up to the movie. Uh, it's called The Resurrection of Doom. Doom comes back and starts tormenting people again. Uh, it's actually really good. And a, just a genius way they brought Doom back. I won't give it away if you want to go look it up. Uh, some more of the flexies, like I had pointed out before. There's Herman. There's Judge Doom. With his vulture that I don't think you ever really saw in the movie. Uh, now, this guy is a black hole guy, a portable hole. I don't know if you remember in the movie, they would slap a hole onto something and they could like reach through it. Um, that's the essential idea here. So inside the packaging here is a suction cup and you would stick it to the glass and you'd put one on one side, one on the other, and it would look like he's going through the glass through the black hole. And I think that's everything on this shelf. Now the final shelf down here, Sorry, oops, sorry it's so dark. Once again, the, the lights are burnt out. But these aren't flexies. These are animates, which are basically the exact same concept, only smaller. And I have the whole series of that. We've got Smart Guy, Roger, uh, Valiant. Uh, there's the full Big Flexi Valiant, uh, Judge Doom. Big Flexi Smart Guy. A uh, little animation book here based off of one of Roger Rabbit's adventures and then some more of the PVC characters back here and then the other um, black hole guys that fit through the glass all all fully in package because that's what nerds do we keep we keep things fully packaged up so that's a good uh, that's about it it's about a full representation of my Roger Rabbit stuff oh also don't want to forget this original Ben Cooper, this creepy freaking Ben Cooper costume, and this paper tablecloth that my brother got me that you used to be able to find at like Walmart or something like that. This is original from like 1990 right here. It's crazy that it's still fully in the package like that. 
this Ben Cooper costume is one that would like, you would wear the mask and then on the vinyl costume, it would say like Roger Rabbit. It wouldn't actually look like his costume. It would just say like Roger Rabbit on the vinyl outfit. So, <laughs> so that's about it. Thanks for indulging me in my uh, Roger Rabbit obsession. And uh, if you'd like to see more of our collections, let us know in the comments below. Yeah, we have a lot of collections. We collect a lot of stuff. We are like one pile of crap away from an episode of Hoarders, right. guys. <laughs> for reals. So if that's something you want to see, give us a thumbs up and let us know down there. So, All right. but That's I'm, cool. I'm, I like that, though. Like He's going to be yeah. super cute. I kind of wish I had the ones with the, the kissy, kissy face. faces. But... Um, they, you get what you get. Out of 10,000 pieces, this is one in 8,400. So there's only 1,600 out of 10,000 pieces. There were only 1,600 kissy Roger Rabbits. I don't even so, remember how to play Pog. Either do I. Because we've got we've got almost enough to play a, a, a dang round Pogs of Pogs. Is, uh, are, are Pogs really still a thing? I don't think so. I don't think anybody... I mean, out of nostalgia, I think people collect them. Like maybe old school Pokemon cards or something. I don't, I don't think know. so. I think it's like the Beanie Babies. Everybody thought it was going to be a big damn deal, but then it ended up not being a big deal. That's what you're saying about the Funko Pops nowadays. The Funko Pops? Okay, so I love Funko Pops. I think they're adorable. I think they're fun. But people who like hoard them because they're going to be worth something someday. They're fooling themselves. You know what? If it's worth something now and you don't want it, sell it because it's not going to be worth nothing in 10 years. They uh, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> in all fairness, though... There's a collectability to everything. That's true. That's Somebody true. out there is looking for something that you have. We we collect a lot of things, and so we have opinions. That's right. Okay, so All let's right. open up this thing. Okay. I want to open it. Are you... See, and you... Mm -hmm. Well, it's not... Can't a, even talk, can you? It's not a chicken. Okay, ready? Right. Yep. All right. All right. Okay. Oh. Kind of looks like Parappa the Rappa. I don't know if you remember that game from back in the day. I don't remember the game, but this looks like the inside of the PlayStation video game it's cartridge. So, like I, I, think, case. I think this is the descriptive book, but look, the PlayStation logo is right there. Uh, so, so you're not wrong. I think that's the explanation box. Or is this book a for the PlayStation box? box? Is this like a 90s PlayStation box? Judging by the book. I think it might be like a gamer box, a 90s gamer box. We'll see. Oh, I could play some 90s games. Yeah. Don't even try. Okay. All right, let's, let's take see. a look. All right. All right. Yeah, this, I'm already seeing this is, Crash Bandicoot. Oh, these are for like your PlayStation. Oh, they're decals they're to put on the machine. They're gaming console skins. So you okay. can make your... Oh, look at that. It's oh, yeah. Spyro. Spyro. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. I like that. Okay. It's a cool decal. That is a cool one. All right. And it shows how you can implement it on the side of the am, order. I am ridiculously excited about this box. See, you get these things, and I have no idea what's going on. I, you know, I, I don't pay attention to the themes all that often, so this is a surprise to me as well. That's so cool. Okay, right. check it. We got a t-shirt. <gasps> and it's in your size. This is you, my size! You can play and you don't have enough t-shirts. What, what's on it? What do we got? Oh! oh! So we got Spyro and Crash and Cloud, and it looks like a Snake from... Um, um, Solid Snake. What, what's Don't the... you wish your wife was a nerd like me? <laughs> I'm so excited! That's a cool shirt. Oh, and it's got the different like PlayStation symbols. So you've yes. got a square, triangle, X, and circle. Very cool. You're a little jealous. I'm a you? little bit jealous. You know what? That's how I felt about the Beatles shirt. I'm a little bit jealous. I'm not going to lie. I will wear this when I go on dates with you, oh, so okay. you can so I can look it. at it. Yes, I can watch somebody else wear it. Yes. Oh, Keep your eyes up here, buddy. Eyes are up here. This is a fun. Oh, oh, is it? Oh, it says Street Fighter throw pillow. It's been like it's been vacuum packed. What is that space bag? It's got space bag. Give me the scissors. Dude, that could really hurt somebody. You could put your eye out. Like that's even quality. Man, okay. Oh, I'm excited. So I'm, I'm like terrified. Oh, to... Lord. All right, let me just to get a little closer. Oh, wait, here we go. All right. Is it double space pads? I, th I think it is. <laughs> Don't oh, I was, I was worried about uh, breaking into it, and it's still got another bag on the inside. But wait, there's more. Look at my beautiful <laughs> new street sleep fighter throw oh, pillow. Oh, good call. It does say sleep fighter. I honestly thought it said street fighter. Oh, my gosh. 
don't. Oh. 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 It is growing. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> oh, it's a, <laughs> it's a Hadouken. It's a Hadouken, baby. Here, hold it. Hold it that way. Okay. Ho nope, hold it that okay. way. It's this. Hadouken. Yeah. Oh, we are going to have a photo shoot with this. That's pretty cool, actually. It's a little throw pillow, though. A nice little cushy throw pillow. This is perfect for your comic book room couch. <laughs> so, in other words, this is not going in the living room. <laughs> it does not fit my brand. That's cool, though. All right. That's actually really That's neat. fun. That's I have fun. never seen something like that in one of these boxes. I've never... I've seen a million t-shirts. I've seen blankets. It's a, I've nice, seen, it's a nice cushy little... I, I've seen pillowcases. I've seen yeah. that kind of yeah. stuff. Small rugs. Like, we have a small Firefly area rug that came in one of these boxes. But I have never seen a pillow. That's so, pretty good. Well done, Geek Fuel. Mm -hmm. I'm down for this. Okay. Right. It looks like there's one more thing in the box. Oh. Oh, you know what? It looks like we didn't get was one of those weird bags of just oh, weird. Oh, thank God. That weird bag. I think people were like, enough with the weird bag of crap, guys. Yeah. Like, what is this? Yeah. These are PlayStation coasters. Oh, okay. I love me a coaster, guys. You don't even know. It's like a deadly addiction. Coasters are fun. Yeah. Is it heavy? Like, I, do they feel like they might be quality? They don't feel very heavy, but I can't function with boxes. Okay. Okay. You're okay. flinching like yeah. it's going to explode. Well, I was trying to maintain the packaging, but screw it, guys. Yeah. I can't even right. wait. I was trying to be nice. We always Maybe have... this would end up in the box of Tim and Gretchen's, but this is mine now. We all we always have use for coasters of some sort. There we go. For frick's sake. Oh. Oh, these are cool. They look nice. They're, nice. Oh, they're the buttons. Look at that. Okay. Okay. They're, they're they're kind of a, a they're a cork a cork coasters. bottom cork bottoms with like a, a poly resin top. Like okay. A plastic top. Metal maybe. No, not it's even. Like plastic. Yeah, it's plastic. Okay. Sweet. How do these go on the buttons? I don't know which way they go. Um, I'm trying to think off the top of my head. Um, cir where circle? Circles over here. Circles over here. Uh, I mean, you play I, this. I game think wrong. triangles up here. Okay. Square. Yeah, I think it's like this. Like, nope, nope, like that. Oh, it's in like a zigzaggy. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, not in, a, it's in a diamond pattern. All right, yeah. so that that was a huge. There you go. Ta-da! That's cool. I enjoyed that box. Not bad. I like that. Now these probably won't get used because they're not going to absorb any condensation. We like the we like the ones that absorb the condensation. Yeah, we like the stoneware ones, but these will be nice for like his bar, your bar, whenever yeah. we whenever we're allowed to have friends over again, we can do that. Okay, and have those. So that's cool. So let's take a look at the. Okay, the, what's tell me what right. tell me what we got? What we really really. Oh, got. look at this. Boom. Whoa! Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Here so we, go. we have the Button Masher exclusive T-shirt. But that is exactly how I play all games: is in, smashing buttons. In 1995, gaming changed forever. We moved away from the traditional cartridges, replaced them with CDs, and threw in the most in-depth graphics outside of a personal computer ever seen. Nice. Yeah. Throw in some unforgettable characters, including gameplay. Uh, incredible gameplay and a controller that naturally fit in your hand and it was a recipe for success that has stood the test of time we're gonna live some of those classics on this exclusive t-shirt that was a very dramatic saying of how cool is your new t-shirt yeah gretchen oh all right what else did you all right say? so we got here's the pillow right the, the kami okay. yami yami pillow they even say this is perfect this is perfect this is perfect uh we've assembled a team from across the globe uh, to create the Sleep Fighter Throw Pillow. The single player pillow is a, is perfect by itself, but when you add a second player is when the real game begins. I don't know what that means. Keep your guard, keep your guard, because this pillow can come out flying out of nowhere for a <laughs> double KO. So... That's a weird way of saying that. Keep your guard because this pillow can come flying out of nowhere for a double KO. Because this is what you would throw at somebody to knock them out. Gotcha. I'm going to knock you out. Oh, it actually gives you a value, so you Oh, know. that's cool. Yeah, so the t-shirt is worth 20 bucks, which is about a typical t-shirt price. Okay. The value for the pillow says $24. Do you think it's a $24 pillow? I think maybe a $15, $17 pillow. 
Uh, yes, I will say this is a t probably every bit of a $24 pillow because A, pillows are not cheap. Yeah. And B, this is like a themed branded pillow. And these companies know that these kids will not bat an eye at paying that much fair. money for a pillow. That's fair. So, okay. So if to the right fan, this would be fine. They'd be like, okay, cool. You Excellent. Know? So value is in the eye of the beholder. That's true. You know? Yeah. Okay. I want you to know that. Yeah, but it's cool, and it'll look cool on your couch in your in your 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 room. My room. Yours. Okay. Yes. I understand. And then the oh, we, okay. we've got the coasters. coasters. The coasters are a thirteen dollar value. Nice. A great addition to any gaming den. This set of PlayStation. Man oh, it, it says coasters. metal coasters, but they they feel plastic. They feel metal to me. Okay. Well. PlayStation Metal Coasters take inspiration from one of the most famous video game consoles ever made. A set of four cork-backed metal coasters with embossed designs. Very this cool. is the perfect way to protect tables and surfaces from unsightly drink stains mm -mm -mm. and coffee rings. Mm -mm. Look, look. Here's my Haunted Mansion coaster right yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah, I we, we did forget to mention that I don't know if you can kind of catch that they are embossed with the shape. They're thin too. They're not they're not super yes. thick. Like this yes. is a stone coaster. Mm -hmm. So cool, but they're cute and they'd be perfect for like a, a man cave. That's where they'll go. <laughs> don't you need coasters in your I, man I've cave? I probably for all the people that don't come over and visit. Uh, and then you've got the the uh, decal. That's pretty cool. I like that. Gaming console decal. We've come a long way from where we started. We moved away from the bulky cartridges and over time we streamlined CDs. Awesome titles coupled with more polygon bits than we had ever seen before. Uh, five generations in and the gaming is still going strong. Tr five generations. Can you believe that? Uh, treat any console with a fresh look with some of the icons that started it all. And we're a PlayStation household, so this is a lot of PlayStation stuff right here. All right. Well, that's cool. Yeah. I like the... That's cute. The Parappa, the Rappa look over here. But that's all the Very info. Very cool. Yeah. That's nifty. I can't tell what gaming system this is for, but I think it's like size. So they're, so they're can... all PlayStations. you got PlayStation 1, 2, 3... Four, which is what we currently have, and then the new five. Yeah, we're not fancy. Like yeah, those that. are all PlayStations. Right, but which one does this fit? I think it's supposed to fit them all, regardless. It well, will fit on all. Well, of them. I don't know. Let's, let's take it out and see what we're actually dealing with. I mean, I like stickers. Oh, it's just so along the edge oh, of the image. Oh, it's a die you, cut. You can thing. put it wherever. You can put it on in, okay. on the side of whatever. Gotcha. It's a yeah. die cut. For yeah. some reason, you I thought, thought the it whole was, grid. This was supposed. To, you know how like when you put a skin on something. Yeah. That's what I thought that was. Maybe okay. it was like a wraparound skin. Well, that or makes something. it even cooler because you could literally put it on any PlayStation you had. Yeah. Fun. Okay. All right. Well, this was a good one. Yeah, I, I enjoyed this. I enjoyed this one. Yeah, I dig the Roger Rabbit. I think that's gonna look really cute. Yeah, I'm super stoked for the little Roger Rabbit. Look at his little curly tail. He's got a little cotton tail. So cute. Yeah, that's nice. All right, cool. Well, you know, give us a thumbs up, guys. Let us if know you enjoyed this video, yeah, give us a thumbs up. If you want up. to see more unboxings, let us know in the comments below. If you have a subscription box that you think we would enjoy, let us know in the comments yeah, down absolutely. below. Absolutely. We'll totally check it We're out. We're always looking for new subscription we'll, boxes. We'll do all kinds of weird stuff. We, yeah. we, we don't have many limits in our life. That's true. <laughs> well, all right. Thank you so much for coming in. And we do live chat every premiere every Monday night. So if you want to chat chat with us sometimes we get a little fun banter going talking about behind the scenes of what happened during filming and things like that so you know check us out every monday night 8 p.m eastern and thank you for coming guys we'll see you guys next time take care of yourself bye you guys thanks so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please consider hitting that thumbs up below and if you want to hang out with us hit that subscribe button be sure to ring that notification bell so you don't miss a video but our latest video is right here and the video that we picked specifically for you to watch is right here enjoy